folks, I hope you're having a good time and everything works proper for you. In this tutorial, I'll be handling a question that is coming around the corner every now and then. What about true type fonts? Can I use them or do they cause trouble? Well, this question cannot definitely be answered. Sometimes they do cause trouble, actually very, very seldom. Most of the times they do not. But if they're troublemakers, yippee-ki-yay, don't ask for sunshine. For professional printing purposes, postscript fonts are state-of-the-art. True type fonts can frequently be found free of charge on the internet. Sometimes they're of poor quality, usually they're intended for screen viewing in presentations only. Because of that, it is essential to comply with one rule. Please convert true type fonts into pass. Also convert postscript fonts into pass. Converting true type is super duper important. So that's it. Thank you and goodbye. Ah, oops. Mr. Director wants me to give some detailed information. Okay. You might ask yourself, how the f do I convert true type fonts into pass? Good question. One option is always duplicate your design into a blank page or simply duplicate your file. The copy receives the treatment I'm about to tell you and the original stays untouched so that you can always go back to the original. In, for example, InDesign, there is one simple way to create outlines, what means the same as converting fonts to paths. Select the text you want to convert with the text tool. Go to the menu bar, choose type and scroll down to create outlines. Now, when you zoom into the converted text, you can see that there are no more letters, but so-called outlines. All the text elements with their styles are converted into graphic elements, so-called vectors. When you're sure that you've changed all fonts to paths, the document is ready to be printed concerning fonts. That's about it. But here is another workaround that you can use. I will show you a smarter way that keeps your typography editable. Instead of converting your fonts, you flatten them. Use InDesign's transparency flattener to convert the text on the fly when you export a PDF. In order to do so, create a custom flattener setting, which you create by choosing Edit, Transparency Flattener Presets. Select high resolution from the appearing dialog box and hit the new button. This creates a copy of the currently selected preset. You can give your baby a name. I call it Chili Printing Flattener. Here, you just check the box, convert all text to outlines and push OK. And OK again. In order to work properly, you need to place a transparent object over either any object that contains text or somewhere in the bleed of the page. To do so, you can place a transparent object for example, use a rectangle with a tint of a tenth of an inch. And an opacity with a tenth of an inch. Somewhere on your page. Don't worry, this object will never be printed and as well therefore never be seen. When finished, you can leave it where it was. Now, when you export a PDF, go to File in the menu bar. Next, go to Export and choose Adobe PDF. Hit Save when you're at the correct folder. And in order to make the flatten happen, first choose Advanced on the left side. Now you see, as probably Acrobat 5 is selected, you cannot change the transparency flattener options. In order to be able to do so, please choose Acrobat 4, PDF 1.3, at the compatibility drop down menu. Now you can select your previously created setup, for instance, chili printing. Hit export. Now the transparency flattener options turns all your fonts into non editable vectors for the export process only. After you exported the PDF, you can get rid of the transparent object and you see the text is still editable. That's it. I know this is rather complex, but I hope we can help you with it. When you have any questions concerning our tutorials, don't wait asking on our blog or via email. And I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.